What's up guys, welcome to Dodging Squad, I'm Sean, I'm Jamie, and today we're going to be installing this Power Commander 5 to the 2010 KTM RC8. <laughs> So the first thing we need to do is remove both side fairings and remove the tank and then it says lay the P Power Commander 5 next to the battery and route the harness along the frame. Which shouldn't be too bad because we already did the quick shifter. It's basically the same thing. Although the tank is a nightmare. You didn't take the fairings off though did you? No, I don't know what it means by side fairing. It says both side fairings but everything to me on this side is the side fairing. Are you going to take that off as well? But that's the tail fairing. I guess that would make sense. Well, let's do the tank first. Yeah, and then we'll see what's We've got to do the airbox because yeah. we have to get to that front uh, uh, top of the ode barrel. Yeah. Right, let's do that. Okay, let's tank do it. off first. So, what power does this put out? At the moment, standard. It's supposed to be 150 horsepower. It's not a lot. And what was yours? 138? Yeah, it's not as much, is it? But it's delivered. But I genuinely think uh, if we just did a standing start, if we got to like 120, mine would probably, that's when the extra horsepower would start pulling. Yeah. But Do you think? That extra horsepower is the torque in it at that speed. Yeah. So you'd But then these are really torquey. Yeah. What are they like? They're like 140 pounds of torque to 148 yeah, this is quite brake, aren't they, or something? Yeah. But mine's about 30 torque. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what it makes. Oh, yeah. When it gets mapped. I on my own holding the tank under an armpit. No, you didn't. The perils of KTM fuel tanks. I'm not helping. What? Social distancing. That's... Should be. Is that wet? No. Is it? It made a squelch when I pressed it. Yeah, rubber that is. That's rubber. Oh, it is wet. Oh! I'm on fire! <laughs> oh, my friend's on fire! Oh, my friend's burning there! It's alright, I made it. Oh, stinker fuel, man. On the plus side, petrol should kill the virus, shouldn't it? There's a mod for these called the Rottweiler mod, and it puts a spacer in here, a foam spacer, and you bin off the lid, and it uses the tank as the lid with this spacer, and you get like a big plenum, far bigger plenum. You're a big fan of them mods, aren't you? You had plenum one of them on the 350Z. I, I thought, well, what are the exact the same thing. Yeah. And that was a V engine. Everything, everything I buy. V engines, two smaller plenum with plenum mods. Yeah, because they thought in the factory actually that's enough airflow. We don't need any more. And then someone else turned around and went, actually, you need another five mil of airflow in there. I love when they release stuff from the factory and then make you pay to make it how it should have been from the factory. <laughs> well, like when they didn't put enough like R and D in. Yeah. And they just rushed it out and went, oh yeah, we probably should have fixed that bit before like we GoPros. sold it. Yeah, they use the they use the first two million sales as beta testers, and then they without go, telling anybody. Yeah, and then they go, oh, by the way, here's like a two hundred meg update for your camera. Right, locate rear ignition, unplug stock wiring harness from coil, which you did that, didn't you? Yep. Plug that in. Blue in line of rear and stock wire harnesses. What's your estimation for after it's been mapped? I know, because they'll do it wheel horsepower, won't they? They can, yeah, but you can calculate it, can't you, to crank? Well, I suppose. So I guess if you ask him, he'd be able to tell you both. Well, how much realistically can you get? Fair 20? Bit. More? Or not? 15? We're having a bet on this. I you, bet. You give your figure, and then I'll give what I think. I would say 15 more than what it does on the first run. No, what was more than factory? Yeah, but it's not even going to be factory. It won't be far off. I'm going to say 162. Hmm. 
one, six, Don't say three. seven. <laughs> one, six, three. One, six, seven. So I say one, six, two. One, six, two. Sean says one, six, seven. Leave us a comment what you think it's going to be. And then the winner wins nothing. Yeah. <laughs> wins pride. Yeah. Welcome to the real world. So a little update. We took a few more fairings off than we thought we would have to, but they they come off really, really easy anyway. Uh, it gets a little bit tight around here. You've got to go onto the crank position sensor, and we found it had been pulled in the wrong place. So potentially it could have had a power commander fitted to it before, and they just kind of rammed the wires wherever. Yeah. Um, so that's all you had to do this side, and we pulled them through. All the magic goes down here, which we now, that looks neater than it did before. Big block on there, the front, um, what they call the ignition coil, the back ignition coil's done. We've ran the cable, just dropping the battery out to get the cable underneath, and then that's it, she's all done. Hopefully. We can move that, which, which side do we want to go? Always to the left side. Kill that flying in process. So to the left, this side. No, that side. To the right. That's my. To that's the left, right. Bike's left. Like that. Zoolander. Then you can just shove yeah. that in there somewhere. That's just the right amount of cable. It's like they know what they're doing. Almost. Almost. Okay, <laughs> let's get this tidied up, and then tune back in. This is our favourite bit. Getting the tank back on. <laughs> it is ridiculous, isn't it? It is. Why do people use plastic tanks when they know they swell so bad? This is the good bit. Look at that. That's where them holes land. So the holes are here. So that's how far out it goes when you take the tank off the bike. <coughs> That's quite oh, a long way, isn't it? Right, let's struggle with this through. Oh, shit. Ah! Didn't that damage anything? Yes. You shorted the things out. No. Yeah, again. <laughs> you were batteries. That won't film in. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost the last clip from that uh, just through a copying issue with the GoPro. But as you can see, it's all back together. It was fully fitted. We tried it, tested it, run fine. Uh, the mapping is booked for next week so depending on when we put this up it should be roughly seven days after this video uh, make sure you have a guess in the comments of what it's going to make above standard uh, obviously we've had a guess it could make loads more and it could make not that much but you never really know how these things are going to go but yeah if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you want to see more give us a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one